If you know the enemy and know yourself, you need not fear the result of a hundred battles. By now you've probably seen the video that I've uploaded two days ago titled Make It Easy Leader Reacts. If you haven't by now, then I recommend that you click on the card in the right upper corner of your screen right now to watch it. Unfortunately, only half an hour after that video was uploaded, the Make It Easy Leader Danny, he contacted me on Discord with screenshots. He just had received them himself and contacted me immediately. As you can see, the screenshot is in Russian so I don't understand a single thing what is written. However, I can see a byte row and the byte row logo. So this is a screenshot of a support request. As you might remember, Danny stated that Rogaperm had contacted byte row support, but that he never received an answer. In the second screenshot here, you can see the game number, which corresponds with the community game for a thousand subs that we played in July. And on the third screenshot, you can see 21, 2022. For the rest, I can't understand a single thing what is written here. And as this is a screenshot, I can't copy paste it in a Google Translate neither. But then he says that this is the reply from a Russian game operator who confirms that Volga didn't use gold in the game. You can imagine that I was pretty shocked when I saw this. I didn't know what to think anymore or what to do because as Danny is a trustworthy player and the friend who helps me in the players league, I can assume that this screenshot is legit and not fabricated, right? Which means that I was wrong. Even worse, I have dragged the name of a good player in the dirt and I can only imagine how not so serious must have been upset about this situation so first of all i would like to sincerely apologize to not so serious for discrediting him and i also want to apologize to denny as the leader of make it easy and all the make it easy members for discrediting their alliance as well and i'm really upset about this because it has never been my intention to discredit anyone to insult someone or to hurt someone's feelings in the chain of events during the game, myself and my allies, we were convinced that Volganisi was using gold, but we were wrong. I was wrong. And it's very frustrating because this whole situation could have been avoided easily. Because on July 15th, which was day 9 in the game, I've messaged Finland, where I stated that I was really disappointed how the game was going, but unfortunately he has never reacted. I've also contacted Volganisi, but also he has never replied to me. They contacted Bytro support without my knowledge. They received a reply the 21st of July, which was day 15 in the game, but they have never contacted me with the evidence to clear their name. So up to this moment, I was convinced that they did use gold. But right here, right now, I have the proof from Bytro under my nose that Volganisi didn't use gold and that the statement that Denny made in my previous video is what happened. Finland and Kazakhstan gave their resources to Volganisi, which enabled him to build recruitment centers everywhere and make a giant army. Of course, my allies and myself, we concluded fast too fast that Volganisi was using gold because he had a giant army. Both Sudan and Benchuanaland stated that they saw air bases being golded and honestly I've seen the same thing in Africa. So up till now I don't understand what happened. Was there already an air base in AI territory that we missed? Was the AI already building an air base when the Russians captured the province? I don't know but it is what it is. I'm pretty upset with this mess because with my YouTube channel I try to create high quality and relatable content that is based on facts to make the community better. So from the bottom of my heart, I hope that all of you can forgive me because I have misjudged and wrongly interpreted what happened in the game. 